Hello, 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 welcome back. It's Monday morning and let's see what we can make today. I, I tried something out um, a few days ago and I hope you're gonna like it. I have still no idea what, how or how it turns out, but let's give it a go. All right, so I'm just gonna start on the back. Um, and yeah, I think, um, shall we do make, yeah, what, what can we make? Um, shall we do another, uh, just a flip page to the white or shall we make a double page just to add a little more space for photos for baby album? I think it would be nice, but mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah, I'm just going to do that. So, um, what I'm going to do, of course, first, we are going to score a flippity flop. Okay, give it some space. All right. Score a half inch, but we need the space inside. So I'm not going to make just one flippity flop. I need the space inside, um, I think. So let's make a 1 8 extra. Okay, I'm just gonna fold the first one. And then I am gonna place this one millimeter uh, away from this fold line right here. I'm gonna make a mark and I stay away two millimeters away from this side right here. Alright, so now I can cut this off at the right spot, keep it straight of course, there we go. Alright, so that is one, I can fold these nicely and straight. So that is a one, and that is, we can glue this down right here. Now as you can see, this page is exactly the same size as this one, so maybe, I did not do it on the other ones, um, but I think for this one I am going to cut down just a little, tiny, little, tiny, tiny piece of just this tiny little bit all right i think then it will be fitting a little bit better all right so that's step one okay um now you do have one piece left for this one so you can make a short one if you like that you even can put this on this side whatever you're pleased to do but I definitely need a bigger one on this side. I even can put it this way. I'm just gonna check it out what we like and do a small one on this side or a big one. That's totally up to you, but I like to keep it a little funky um, and a paper saver. So I am gonna do just using the leftover piece, scoring again, just a half and then that one eight extra two for this one and for this one too just cutting a little piece off okay that's that for the scoring fold it so you have an extra little piece right here just to use it just to Give it an extra page. There we go. An extra page to play with, to add extra photo frames on it. All right, so that is the base. 
Now I like to add my larger piece on the left side and, um, and the small piece on this side. So if we turn this page like this, then I have a full page to work with. Um, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are my videos are definitely follow along, guys. <laughs> or I'm going to turn this to the left side and put this on this side. So I can make a little... Um, that's better for what I had in mind. That's way better. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Add your smallest piece on the left side to add extra pictures on that page. Okay, on the left side. There we go, nice straight. Open it up, burnish it down. Oh my god, my nose is such a pain in the ass today, <laughs> if I can say that. Sorry for my miswordy um, words, but um, oh my god, I just cleaned my, um, my toilet with new cleaning um, liquid, if I can say that. Oh my gosh, and it's so strong. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there is, there, was, there was some bleach in it and it was such a strong smell that, oh my gosh, I needed to go out every minute that I go in my toilet, not the bathroom, the toilet room, to give my nose a fresh air and I still have that awful smell in my nose. Terrible, but... We all need to clean our bathroom, our toilet room. Uh, do not wave. All right, so that's it for this one. So a nice big page, which we can add our uh, first impression for this page. And um, stickers coming off. And um, and then we open this up, and now you have extra photo frames, a nice square one I think I will like on the left and on the right side, I think. And then we still have a nice collage, photo collage space. All right, I think that's a good idea to add more pictures in this album. Um, and we are going to do that. I am going to do that on the blue one too and then I'll come back and we're going to start on this page. Okay, so <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Alright guys, let's just start. Um, because I was already staring at this uh, like 10 minutes or so. What to do or what would you think about this? But... When sometimes I do see some things in uh, in a store, and then I I just like to grab it, and I want to use it, and that's that's the same thing I had with this fluffy thread. I don't know what other word it is, and I thought, oh wow, the color I love, and the fluffy thing, it's so soft. If I will pet my chica, <laughs> um, so I. I, I had to grab it and I just was thinking, what can I do with it? And um, do we like to just glue this down like this? Because the other side is not that thin. So I could just put some glue on, like the fabric tag or something, and then add this on like that. Can be done. It's nice and fluffy. Uh, it's so stinking cute. But I also can wrap this around some paper like I did with this one. This is my tryout. And then it's still nice and fluffy. It even pops up a little bit 
better than just this but it's totally up to you um, if you're gonna use it or not but oh my gosh it's so cute oh my gosh I love this so um, I am gonna do it with this one and what I have left I still can use it as um, as a nice decoration on a tag or something so, so cute so cute 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 so I will <laughs> I can't I can't stop just petting this <laughs> cuddling it all right so what I'm gonna do um, with this we are gonna make something like this and I think then a nice big belly band that we can put this on and then make this as a nice photo frame and then still have a nice big belly band behind it for a nice booklet where you can put your diary in or something like that what do you think all right so that is the plan so the first thing that we are gonna do is work with this little piece now this piece was I keep forgetting that how large it was it's it's definitely well a five we need the space for the fluffy speech for the fluffy thing so i think a five by five will do you can use any um any cardstock you like but i don't want it to make it too thin otherwise um, it's not that easy to wrap this around okay so what so i used uh, one layer of brown and one layer of um, the gray one that's totally up to you but let me check that out so I am going to start with the brown one five by five and you also can add right away your design paper on it that's I think that's also possible instead of gluing it after totally up to you what you like mm. what shall we do well I think I'm just gonna add this on all right you can leave this a little smaller if you like you don't have to use the full size of it Keep away your leftover pieces and I needed to start with the blue one because the pink one I already have finished so this is going to get I need to cut this down off for this side so that's that's my mistake already <laughs> <All right. laughs> no worries just grabbing the blue ones because the pink one I already have ready um, I think this one, blue, pink, blue, here we go, doing it again, dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, by the way, my daughter starts today some crazy exam, um, at home, okay, so to do some projects at home, so I <laughs> okay so this we can glue down on this page so it's a little bit sturdier than you even can put something on the back to make it even more sturdy because you definitely don't want your edge to tear down so maybe maybe i am gonna put something on the back too just to make it sturdy i don't want to tear my pages my edge um, i think that's a good idea you can do it with any paper you like you don't have to do it with this one i'm just gonna add another layer on the back just to give it a little bit more sturdiness to work with all right now the next step is making some holes of 
if I put this down. Uh, you can use a um, copper dial or something like I used on my try out, or you just can push, uh, put holes in it with um, something like um, a cushion or something like that. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to try to punch my holes this time with. Um, So with this one, I punched holes with my copper dial, and then the smallest one. Um, just because I thought it needed to be um, more thickness in it to use that trap. But I don't think it's that necessary. So, oh yeah, here it is. So I'm going to try to do it with this one. So I'm just going to start... Well, this is definitely a no-go. I think I'm just going to go with my... Because I have three layers. So, yep. Made up my mind. Just going to go back in with this one. I think that's better. Alright. So, I'm going to start in the corner. And then, yeah, it's totally up to you how many you like to do. I'm just going to eyeball and I'm just going to go all the way around on the edge of my blue. And then I'm continuing with the next one. It doesn't have to be perfect, you don't see it, but... It will be nice if you're going to try to add these little holes at the same height. Okay, I'm just going to continue till I am... Um, how many do we want? Well, hmm, with that one I did pretty much. Um, now for this one, let's see. Do we need two in this side or just this um, to make it, I think, even a little bit more fluffy? I think I'm just going to add two in this side. All right. So from here on, I am going to try to be as straight as possible and then do two holes in one area. Oh my gosh, even my eyes are still with that bleach two don't forget to all right just keep going on till you are completely done this goes way better than that little I call that pinch Thing. There we go. All the way down. All right, guys. I'm gonna do continuing this, and then I'll come back just in a sec. Okay. Then I am grabbing my fluffy thread, and what I like to start with first, make it all nice. There were no knots in it. All right, um, grab a needle. What size? Well, it definitely needs to go inside. So I don't know. Let me check it out. I thought I had another needle. I don't know where I left it. Where did I left it? No clue. It's not this one. I thought I had a bigger one, and I do, but I can't find it. Well, let me check it out. 
let me check it out if I can put it in here too. I think I can. Oh, that went pretty easy actually. Ta da! Here we go. That's it. Now, it's pretty long and we do have enough. Um, I like to start in somewhere where the middle is. Let me just start right here. Alright, now of course you need to go all the way down. But I'm going to leave a little tail behind it. Okay, so perhaps we're going to need it for the closure. Alright, and then we just go all the way. And this takes time, just put a line, a nice, little, nice little music on. Uh, grab a cup of tea, or coffee, or a bottle of water if it's hot at your hometown. And then just don't rush this, don't pull it too hard. Just go all the way. And you will see at the beginning that is not that fluffy as I showed you on my card. But let me just go first till the end. When you are completely done, then you can use your fingers to pull all those nice little, let me show you real quick. So if you're going to use your fingers, just pull out all these little fluffy, soft pieces. And after you are done, you even can go on the edges right here to pull every single fluffy one out of that hole. See? To get that everything is out. And that is how we get that nice fluffy one. See? So cute. So, so cute. Alright, so I continuing doing all the way till the end. Alright, and that's how we're gonna do it. See you. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Alright guys, and then I am at the end. And I already made it fluffy again. So cool. Alright, so I am at the end right here. And I don't know exactly how much do I need to cut off, but I'm just gonna cut this off the same as this one. So we can use this as a closure. Now, let me check that out. Okay, so this we have left. So, do I like it at the front? Otherwise I need to go back. To the front. I think that's better. What do you say? Check it out. So if I put this on the big belly band and we can use this as a closure to wrap this, then I think it would be better to put this at the front instead of at the back. So I'm gonna put my needle back in. And I'm going to put this at the front. So, yeah, I have to get a little time to do this, but at the end it will be oops. No, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you just have to take time for this. <laughs> it's definitely something else then. Paper. All right, so I'm just gonna see where this hole is, and then I go back. I think it's this one. This one or this one? Yep, 
that's one, and then the other one needs to go back to. Now I did not do that with the pink one, but you just can put another little string and go back in somewhere in the middle too. Here we go. Okay. Where did I end it? This one is right here. Just have to check it out. If I can go back. This is the last one for this one. Don't want to make it too thick in one hole. So I think this one will do. Alright, make it a little fluffy again. I think this will do. Okay, now I don't know exactly if I need two strings, but just in case. Alright, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna do that same thing um, with just an empty little string because I did not end up in the middle with this one, but. What do you think? So far so good. Yes, I love it. So fluffy and oh my gosh, I love it. When you got it in your hands, it's definitely pet time. <laughs> you even, if you don't make a closure, you even can now make this as a little bow. See how cute this is. It's stinking cute. It is, in my opinion, <laughs> at least. Um, so yeah, you even can use this at the bottom or at the top, but I'm gonna use this as a closure. At least I think I am gonna do that. Or I'm gonna use a ribbon and then I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna do this. But first, ah, uh, ah, uh, next step. <laughs> Okay, before I continue on with this, I think I like to add a nice stamp on here. I'm gonna try to do that still on this fluffy thing. Let's just take it out. Let's see if I can do this. I like to add this on here. Check it out. Let's see if that can be done. I think it is, but you never know. You never, 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 ever, ever know. Okay. I think I got it. Amazing, that's just a finishing touch, don't you think? I think it is. Now, which side? I don't think that is a good or a bad side, but let's use it right here. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, normally I would. Maybe go the opposite side. Well, it does not have to be. Yeah. Oh. Get cool. 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 Love it. That's just a finishing touch. I think. Yes, cool. Um, it's a little fluffy. <sighs> All right. <laughs> okay. Grab back um, our page 
this is the pink one so i need to grab the blue one because i'm working with the blue one all right so now it's a meaning to make a nice big belly band as i told you and as you still you can use of course a nice picture right here or a small one or you can write something down and just use whatever you're going to put behind this um, i just added the stem because it looks nicer to me but you always can add no stem if you like that can write something out blah 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 I'm gonna grab let me check that out this could be working um, for a nice belly band it's a nice touching thing that it's behind it so that's cool all right just making a flippity flop let's use this one making a fold line and then just put this right here on the edge and then on the other edge on the other edge on the other edge <laughs> we're gonna add a mark right here and then we're gonna make another fold line of course you cut this shorter here we go, and then you have your big, 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 big nolly bags. So we can add this right here, nicely in the middle, and then do we need, oh, I don't think that we need that much of a paper line but let me first do some brown on it that much on the edges you could do two strips on this side so it is a bit covered up but you also can use this only brown piece to give it a nice brownie touch so that's totally up to you um, you can go to your stash if you have something left and of course I do have something left use this one same one um yep yeah, i'm gonna do that just use this and i like to use the half of this that's enough i'm gonna do the scrap queen way i'm just gonna fold it in half and then cut it down or you can measure it and then cut it in half it's totally up to you but sometimes i like this quick and easy method. There we go. I only need to cut this at the same height. And then we are done. Yes. Okay. So put a little Distress ink on the sides. It's definitely a finishing touch. Okay. The other side. I'm just going to watch on which side I did not cut. So I have a straight line right here. 
the other line you don't see it it's behind the fluffy edge okay yeah that's definitely the nice finishing touch cool love it all right now before i'm going to add this i am going to add this on top right here yeah 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 it all comes together here we go I'm going to throw out that cleaning uh, liquid for my toilet because, wow, my nose is absolutely ruined for the rest of the day, I think. Alright. Nasty stuff. Hate it. And then the, 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 the smell in, 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 in your toilet oh, all day long. I hate bleach. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Alright, put this on. And then you have a nice big belly band and um, let's put some decoration on here uh, do we like a brown edge can be can be done but um, before before we continuing um, with a belly band I always have that feeling that um, Normal, if I do a pocket, I do not go all the way, but um, with a belly band, you need to tuck something, you want to tuck something down, so you will see right here, the bottom and the, and the top piece, you want to see it. So if I do a bottom piece right here, and a bottom and a top piece right there, you will not see anything at the bottom. But if you put something in it, it definitely gonna stuck every single time on that edge that I did not go all the way. So that is not a nice thing. But yeah, but for the six by six um, pages, it's 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 definitely needed because we don't have a full uh, decorative piece. So. Um, so I think the first thing that I like to do is make a full page, a full page with a brown one. So that's the first thing that I like to do. But with the design paper, we can't, we can't do that. So why I do then a full page with a brown is because otherwise you, you have a absolutely too thick edge on the bottom where your booklet or a little diary will definitely not fit in so so i want to be this as thin as possible so i'm just gonna grab a piece of paper that fits inside here and then take this on the right spot I like to glue it down like this, otherwise I never get this right. And you don't have to glue it down all the way, only at the bottom and at the top is more than enough. Okay, that's my page for now. looks terrible right now but it will be better all right um so yes we do have some leftover pieces which i first gonna check which one you can use this but why if we still have leftover pieces so of this one Or this small piece at the bottom something like that what do you say and it's definitely gonna stick for um, for whatever I'm gonna put inside here so I know that but of 
course we need some decoration too. So let's Why not to make this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the glue as close as I can to the edge. Okay. And I'm going to put this in here. Put it on its spot. And then I'm definitely going to burnish this down as good as I can. And it will be stocking. It will be. Everything what you put inside there will be having a little troubling going down completely. But you can't go without it. So this needs to be as tight as possible. Because everything what you put inside check that out with this one will be well this is a little tight I was telling you it will be stocking but it, it is but now I just put the glue and it's as thin as possible it will be get it will be it will be you will see but hopefully not as much all right now you can choose whatever you like but I do like this one doesn't have to be all the way so I am going to cut half inch off so I can use it on another little piece always saving papers smooch the edges I forgot to cut the edge for just a second. Totally forgot. I forgot. Alright, put it back on. And the after the glue is drying so so quickly, so if you have something that you will see right away, don't hesitate. Just peel it off as quickly as you can. Otherwise, you don't have the chance to replace it. All right. Here we go. I'm making this belly band a little wider on the edges. So everything what I put inside here will definitely not be too tight. Okay, loves. Okay, 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 okay. I think now it's time to add this on top. This looks so stinking cute in my world. <laughs> All right, now before I continuing, put this on. I definitely want to know how I like the closure. So I definitely need something right here. Now, do I like this fluffy thing? I think it's nice. But I don't think that I need two of those strings then. If I'm going to use this. Or shall we use maybe the same as this one? Because maybe this is too fluffy. Let me check that out. We do have a piece left. What do you say? I think it gives another nicer extra thing so yes one can go back which one I think this one
this one. All right, one is enough. All right, so now what to do with this one? I am gonna see how I am gonna take just just go back with a needle. I need to go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I am gonna cut. Not cut. I'm gonna go back with this one. And I am gonna tuck this in another end. And then I'm gonna cut it off. This needs time, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely needs some concentration. All right. So what I'm going to do is I go back. On this one. And maybe one more. I think that's enough. You also can make it a little larger. And keep it safe, perhaps, I don't know if it's needed, but for just in case, always need to go just in case scenario. All right, so I am going to do that same thing with this one. Okay, so I definitely, done. oh, here's my big one. I do have a big needle. I do use this one last week, but the small one works too, but because here is already some leftover torch in it but if you can find a needle with a nice big eye in it it will be a little bit easier see this works a little easier all right now I need to go back in Yep, and I'm gonna go back on this side. One more. Don't pull too hard. Don't tear your papers. Same thing with this one. Grab a little tape. There we go. Yes. Okay, go back with the fluffy. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yes. All right. I'm definitely going to choose this one. How much do we need? Well, let me just grab this in half. And again, I need to put this in. Well, I think I also, you don't have to put this. Well, yes, you do if you want to have that ribbon on top. Just for the middle, what comes close for the middle, and put this through. Now for this one, hmm, how we can make this a little bit more secure. this underneath 
paint another one. Like this. A little bit sturdier than without. All right, using some tape. To keep it all down. All right. See now you have a one right here. Okay. Now oh, that's pretty sturdy. Yep, it is. Okay, now I'm going to peel off all these tape. Okay. I'm going to make sure that all your fluffy things are the best way out yes just gonna glue down as many as I can even the lace ones glue it down there we go Had to help my daughter with the printer. Alright, so in the meantime I glued this on so this is nicely attached. And now we're gonna turn this page and we are going to attach this ribbon with a little mark right there. Add add this on the right spot. Here we go. And then when you finish up with your um, the designs right here, then this closure. Then you can close this down with this little ribbon. I think it's stinking cute. With this brown one, really catch it up a little. Cut this off. Close the edges. Watch it do this stay away from your kids with the lights all right okay cool I love it so this page is nice and tight perhaps too much brown in one page but okay and then a nice big um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab a big piece right here just gonna fold it in half. And then make it up, 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 and then make it the right size, whatever you like. So I like it a little smaller, of course. And something like this. No measurements needed. You just can figure out which size you like. Then cut this. On the marks, I just placed them. Let's see how this works inside. Our cheeky day. A nice big belly band where we can add, and I love to do that, a few blank pages in here where the person who gets this can write a little story about 
their little baby boy or girl. So, but we can do that later. All right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can open this up and then you have a nice photo collage page to do. Super cool. And we are going to do that, but first I am gonna make my uh, baby girl finished. And then we're gonna make some layouts with the leftover pieces. And, and then when we are done with that, I think, yeah, I know for sure that we have made three pages. Three, let me check. I think we did. One, two, yeah, then we made three pages with just one paper pack. That's cool. All right, so maybe we can make five pages or something like that and then do the cover or something, something. We'll see about that. All right, first of all, I am gonna do my baby girl with the same things on these pages and then I'll come back to you. Well, not much to do for me because I already have this ready, so. Cool, all right. How does this look? Well, let me first finish this off and then I'll come back to you, all right. <laughs> All right, guys, so then this is done. Oh my God, so fluffy, so, so stinking cute. Um, yeah, so what else, what else, what else? Um, I am gonna do the inside with first the leftover pieces that I have left. Um, let me check it out. So I have still one full page of this and this light green one. That's this exactly the same. I do have this strip left with the little stars. Um, then I have this, yep, that's light green again. I have left that. And this I still have left with the little stars, what I use for the background for, for um, the photo frame we just did. That I have left, well, exactly the same. All right, so yeah, and, and, and just a little, little piece. This is also exactly the same. So, yeah, exactly the same things I have left. So we can do a nice inside um, photo collage thing with all this. So let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> 